My Sports Center is the 11 o'clock Eastern to 1 a.m. Sports Center. The viewers for our show for the 11 o'clock to 1 a.m. Sports Center are primarily young. Uh, the demographic is certainly young. I sense a lot of college dormitory viewing and also the young parent perhaps with a, with a midnight feeding. All right, uh, we're on uh, at 11 o'clock after 30 for 30, so. We start with the meeting and that's where everything's kind of put together. Gucci, what do you got for hockey tonight? Bruins, Melrose. A lot of people's preseason pick to win the East. There are some days where we use 10 things from the meeting, and then there are some days when we use zero because the events of the day. Tom lays out the rundown for me, and then I just visualize where we can best depict all the stuff we're trying to do in the show. Tonight I'm cutting the National League and day element from Buster Only. Obviously it's tied in the ninth inning, so it's probably going to be exciting towards the end. We have a bunch of production assistants that sit kind of all around us and it's our responsibility to supervise them and make sure that the correct plays, storylines are being uh, told in the highlights. I kind of concentrate on the, the big stories of the day or the games of the day, and when you do a, a show at night, uh, it's considered a highlight show. We have a lot of competition on our show. Find out the lead singer for They Might Be Giants. 11 o'clock at night to 1 a.m. Sports Center. There's a lot going on. It starts with local news, and of course, Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Kimmel, David Letterman, John Stewart, Stephen Colbert, you know, right up until 1 a.m. It's confirming it's John Flansburg. <laughs> we are up against all of those things, whether it's Fallon, whether it's Kimmel, whether it's whatever it is. But to be honest, I don't think about it a lot. And I don't know if, if the rest of the guys working on the show think about it so much uh, simply because we're a sports show and, and they're not. And if people want highlights, they're not going to turn on Jimmy Fallon. They're going to turn us off. Nothing beats a great sports day with great games, some news, some inspirational stories, and uh, great pieces of video with great athletic feats. And uh, no one does that better than Sports Center. It's not even close. One of the great things about Sports Center is the anchors write all of their own stuff. There's a lot going on in here. A team of usually two or three camera people and a jib op a video operator who shades all our graphics, controls Hudson cues, which are the automated cue systems for our, some of our video panels. We have about 1,200 lights, most of them all LED technology controlled in here, so they can be set up by color as we need. We have such a great energy on this show of people who love what they do. We're in decent shape. Yeah. yeah, once a week, we'll, we'll start the show with something we weren't even talking about at the beginning of the day. We should be ready for two things. Okay. A two shot at the main desk with the anchors, okay. or three shot with the... Part of it is just being willing to change. So 10 minutes before the show, dotting the I's, crossing the T's. We're watching games to check on if things are changing. All right. If things are changing in games, the entire show could change just like that. What did you actually change? Oh, you got both of them, booties all hooked up. We love it when it's busy and when things are going crazy, because that's when we can show off the best. One comment each, three, kicking into Coachman. Okay. I need Coachman somewhere, guys. What do we have? Jesus. Hey, Coach, give me the highlights. Yo, I got a lot to give you. Like ninth inning. Frank Holland's on. Holland. First pitch, Adam First Jones. Pitch, Adam Jones. People talk about the good old days of Sports Center, but. I always say go back and look at the tape and then watch the tape now. I think Sports Center is um, better than it's ever been. Hit it. Sports Center. Roll 21, move, track it.